Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Ally in the Air. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is my nine month lock update video. Um, I think my last update I did was at one month after I locked my hair, so I've been kind of slacking with that and I do apologize, but with everything else going on right now, I've been flying and I have been preparing for my surgery next week. If you have not seen my surgery video, please watch the very last video I uploaded on my channel about three days ago and that will let you know a little bit about what's going on right now. But I've been super busy, so I have not gotten around to <laughs> recording a video or update about my hair. And obviously I have not gotten around to taking care of it either. So I'm going to give you guys a 360 view of what my hair looks like. Again, this is nine months. Today is October 16th. Yes, today's October 16th, so just three days ago I hit my nine month anniversary. So I'm gonna show you guys what my hair looks like. It's coming along really nicely, and I don't wear my hair like this in public, but I did just throw it up like that to go to bed last night. A lot of people, a lot of thickness, a lot of changes. So in this video today, I am going to be retwisting my hair on camera and while I retwist, I am going to be talking about what I've been using in my hair and pretty much my hair routine. So first things first, I will be washing my hair first, of course. Um, I did wash my hair a few days ago because it was super dirty, but I didn't retwist or do anything to it, obviously. So I'm going to be washing my hair again so I have a nice base for my retwist and I'm still washing my hair with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Cast Oil Strength and Restore Shampoo. Still using this I swear by this stuff and I am still following up with the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap. Um, right now it's in the lavender bottle but I promise you guys this is peppermint soap. I wash my hair with this one first, I shampoo with this one first and then I shampoo with this one second. I'm still not using conditioner just because my hair is used to it now. So first things first I'm going to be washing my hair. guys I'm back I'm fresh out the shower I threw some lashes on so I don't look as crazy a little bit of lip gloss or whatever and I threw this I like to dry my hair with a cotton t-shirt as opposed to a towel so I just threw this t-shirt on my hair secured it with a scrunchie and my hair is feeling extremely pepperminty cool refreshed I love that Dr. Bronner's and let's see what we're working with Ooh. Y'all peep them inches? Oh my God, it's crazy because, wow, oh my gosh, it's really growing. But it's crazy because like, you know, every day you wake up and you see yourself, so you don't really recognize differences in your hair or your skin or weight loss or anything that you're trying to achieve. But when you look back at old pictures, like I just rewatched my um, one month post locking my hair video and I'm like, wow, like I had short little baby coils and now I have like full grown locks. So excited. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They're getting super heavy. Not like heavy to where it hurts, but they're getting really dense, which means they're falling. They're getting really thick and they're just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love them. Love them. So I'm gonna get started with letting you guys know what I do every day to my hair. Nothing. <laughs> no, like literally nothing. So I try to spray my hair with this rose water and glycerin. Spray. I got this from Marshalls and it was $7.99. And sorry, I have something in my eye. Alright, sorry about that. I try to spray my hair with this every day. 
honestly, I usually spray my hair with this like once or twice a week. <laughs> I don't do as good with moisturizing my hair as I should, but I promise, 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 promise going forward, I will be spraying my hair with this at least every other day. So I'm gonna start off with just saturating my hair with that. My hair is still really damp, but this is gonna help with the um, sealing in the moisturizer, or sealing in the water, sorry. And I just spray a generous amount of that on my hair. To retwist my hair today, I still am an aloe vera fan. I still retwist my hair with pure aloe vera gel, 100%. I got this from Walmart for like three or four dollars. And that's literally all I use in my hair. So right before I retwist it, you guys will see me like moisturizing with this as I work my way from the back up. But I spray it with rose water and glycerin and then I use my aloe vera gel to retwist it. Right now I'm just separating the first section of hair that I'm going to be working with. I like to work in sections just to make sure I don't miss any locks. What I'm doing right now is called popping. A lot of times when you wash your hair and even when you leave your hair alone, the locks tend to join together, so you just want to go through and separate each lock to make it easier to retwist. I take a little bit of the aloe vera gel on my fingertips and I rub that into just the new growth part of my lock. And then I'll twist my lock just a little bit and start palm rolling. Once I'm done palm rolling, I'll grab a clip and clip that lock as best as I can. I just want to show you this one special lock that I have. Um, a few months back when I was retwisting my hair, I decided to combine two of my locks because they were not, well, one of them was pretty healthy. One was nice and thick, this one here. But 
this one here was nice and thick and healthy this little lock here was not doing well on its own this little baby needed some help so what I did was I combined both of the locks together to form one lock now they have locked together at the top but at the bottom they are not locked together so they're separated I forgot what these are called I forgot what they're called it's dragon something I want to say like a dragon tail something like that but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to combine them together so like every one of my other locks I'm just going to take some aloe vera gel this one I am taking a little bit extra and put some up at the root and then spread it down I don't spread the aloe vera down on any of my other locks but for this special one I am going to and I'm going to retwist like normal. This one won't get out of the way. I'm going to retwist like normal, like so. Once I get to the bottom, I am just going to twist like this so that the locks are wrapping together, like so. And then I am just taking a super small rubber band and I'm going to rubber band the end I'm going to rubber band the end of that lock just so they stay together. Voila, one lock. Bruh. Oh, that looks bad. Okay, yeah, that looks bad. Let me redo it. So let me take this rubber band out. I'm gonna try this again. First, let me actually try twisting it. Let me try twisting it. And again, I'm going to rubber band it together. Let's see if this one came out better than the last. All right, much, much, much better. So that's what that one looks like. Again, we're just gonna retwist at the root and clip it just like the rest of our other locks. Okay guys, so this is my hair dryer, it's by Golden Hot. I have showed this to you guys before and what I do is connect this end to the blow dryer 
turn the blow dryer on and then this end will sit on my head. Um, I'm really comfortable, I'm right by the heater. I got my computer so I can actually edit this video while I watch my show. This is the end of my official nine month retwist and update video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you in my next video.